Hello, I'm Howell Griffith, chef at Beach House Restaurant in Oxwich. Today I'm going to cook a ribeye of Welsh beef with noodles and ketchup manis. Hello and welcome to my kitchen. So, as said before, we're going to cook a ribeye of Welsh beef. Beautifully dry aged ribeye of beef. All the bones gone and stuff like that. And they're out of room temp, which is vital when cooking red meat. We got udon noodles here. We got some shallot, garlic, ginger, coriander, choy sum. If you can't get choy sum, of course you can use pak choy. Just kind of cut the stem off, chop and down lengthwise a bit. It's very similar. I just love this vegetable. We have some sesame seeds and the ketchup manis. Ketchup manis is like a, a slightly thickened sweet soy sauce with the red meat and a pinch of salt on there. This tastes fantastic. So this recipe is really quick and easy. The noodles go in. All I've got here is some salted water boiling away. It'll take about five or six minutes, which means we're ready to go straight away with the steaks. As I said before, out of room temp, no salt yet. All I've got here is a hot pan, tiny bit of oil in there and the steaks go in. The steaks are going to take about two to three minutes aside, not long at all, and a nice rest afterwards. Here we go. So five minutes in, the noodles are almost ready. They need another minute. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the pan off and leave them in the water for a second, because we're actually going to use the water a little bit in a second. The steaks have their time. And I'm just going to take them out on this little tray and we're just going to let them rest while we finish off the dish. So have got two pans here now. In this first pan, just a tiny bit of oil again. We're just going to drop the shallots in there. Along with the garlic and ginger. pinch of salt. We're just going to saute these ever so gently. Not too high, you don't want to burn them. And then we're going to take the choice on and we're going to cook it in the same pan as we cook the steak. We just want to wilt the choice on a little bit. It's okay if the leaves colour, we just want to make sure that the stems stay nice and tender we don't want to overcook them so they go really wilted. We just want to kind of just cook them a little bit. Just cook them about 70% of the way through. There we are. And with shallots and garlic, we sauteed off nicely here. Now our noodles are rested for a couple of minutes in the in the water. We're just going to drain it off. And we're going to add the noodles to the pan. What we're going to do as well is add a few spoons of the cooking water. And what that will do, it was it will lift all that flavour that we've put into the pan from the garlic and the ginger. And we're just going to keep on cooking it for a second till it goes away. And then all that flavour will just be in the noodles. It'll be delicious. Just have a little taste. There's enough salt in there. Perfect in the beginning. So I've choice some has wilted nicely. Slight bit of charring on the leaf, which is good. What's important, like I said, the stem stays nice and firm. We don't want to overcook the vegetable. I'm just going to take the choice off now. So the steaks have rested nicely. And we're just going to put them back in the pan, along with our sauce, the ketchup manis. They go over the steak, along with a pinch of salt, good pinch of salt. What we're going to do now is kind of caramelize them in the sauce just for a few seconds, just to kind of re-warm the steak through. And then this will, along with the juices, stick to the steak. Fantastic. There we go. There's enough heat in that pan now to finish off the warming of it. Now, I told you it's nice and easy. It's time to plate. So the noodles have absorbed all that garlic, ginger and shallot. There we go. Nice and tidy, just in the middle of the bowl. 
next is the choice sum straight on top I'm just going to take the ribeye place it straight on top brush it over the top with the back of the spoon and we're just going to finish with I love coriander so loads of coriander on if you don't like it don't use it and a nice sprinkle of sesame seeds and there we go it's a really simple dish and I tell you what it's packed the flavour and it's fantastic and I hope you try it at home <laughs>